Christmas fam. I have a special guest here, my grandma. So, today we'll be telling you the true story about Wednesday Adams. Yes, I watched Ooh. Wednesday, the series. My grandma watched the first episode. Mm. Um, what do you think of it so far? Oh, I love it. I can't wait to watch the rest. I watched all eight. I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys, um, but yeah. It was pretty good. I really liked it. Um, there was a lot of stuff, a lot of action in the series. Mm. And since I just finished it, I decided to do some research on the true story of Wednesday Adams. The true story? Huh? Yes. So, here is the true story. It says, she's creepy, she's kooky, she's altogether ooky, just at in a gallon of mystery and agnes, you've got Wednesday Adams. Some people have weird families. Others have weird mm. fa other have other has other have weird families too. But even among the likes of her bizarre but loving parents, Matricia and Gomez, her goofy brother Pugsley, and her shattered cousin It, Wednesday Adams is arguably the most relatable and most beloved Adams. No, that's why they made a series about her, obviously. Yeah. She's the star. She was literally the star in the two movies. Mm -hmm. Like, the first and second one were literally all about her. She was the problem. Like, oh, okay. Literally. Well, I can't wait to watch the rest. Throughout the decades of multiple TV shows, movies, and comics, no one seems to get tired of this starnick, smart-as-a-whip little girl who gets fascinated with... Mm, Mocker Bear is dramatic enough to creep anyone out. It's no surprise that a character with so much and bigoty and intro as Wednesday would have had a few secrets up her sleeve. And there's probably mm. a lot that a lot that Adams family fans don't know about her missatisfying background. Whoa. It sounds like it's gonna get even more interesting. For instance, did you know that she got her start long, long before she ever appeared on TV? Staple cartooned the woeful, the woeful Adams family crossover with, and what's and what's that pesky lawsuit anyway? The Adams family is teeming with secrets, but we're more interested in the one particular particular Adams with two iconic braids and a skull to boot. <laughs> Here's everything you didn't know know or needed to know about Wednesday Adams and her pet spiders. <laughs> Most people think Wednesday Adams was born on screen, but her debut came out long before the 1960s. Like many popular characters, she got her start in a comic book, in a comic strip wow. penned by, you guessed it, American cartoonist Charles Adams. His woeful tales first appeared in the New York in the New Yorker, 1938. Wow. While, but while his name was Charles, he used the pen name Chas Adams to sign his comics. It's an unusual tactic to base your characters on your last name while changing your first name. But then again, Charles or Chas Adams was a partic particular guy. Maybe he just thought Chas sounded cool. We'll probably never mm -hmm. know. Now Adams is... All also, creative work that has that wasn't doom, gl gloom, and creepy tastic, but like Edgar Allan Poe. That's all that people seem to remember b him by naming his creepiest characters after after himself. He certainly didn't help matters. He also didn't help that, according to NPR, his ideas of good consist consisting of of telling his friends he visited insane um, algorithms for fun and offered to drive friends home, only to seek out routes that passed dozens of centuries. But hey, entertainment was hard to come by in the 1930s. Give the guy a break. <laughs> wow. So far, the story's getting good. It's not much about mm -hmm. Wednesday, though. It's about like, the creator and stuff. The creator, but that's very very interesting and it helps understand what's going on better and if he's based on Edgar Allan Poe who wrote so many creepy stories and poems 
Interesting. Next paragraph. Wednesday mm. Adams may have existed long before she appeared on TV, but when she mandered on her comic strip with the rest of her family, she was actually nameless. Maybe that's why she lightened up the 1960s costume when she finally had a name. According to a letter the to the editor, according to a letter to the editor posted in the new in the New Yorker, Joan Blang, a, a Florida mother in custody dispute gave Adams inspiration for Wednesday's name. When Adams voiced his concern about not having a name for the comic strip daughter as he went into a TV show deal, Blake real, realized the line of an old nursery, a nursery uh -huh. line. Wednesday's child is full of woe. So that's how Wednesday got her name. Perfect. The cutest rhythm is a fun adage meant to determine what a chi child will be like depending on the day of week they're born. I wonder what day I was born. Mm. I don't remember. Granted, Wednesday would also fit the bill for Monday, which states Monday's child is fair of face. But mm. but then again, Mon Monday Adams just doesn't have the same ring to it. Fun mm -hmm. Funny enough, Wednesday's middle name is Friday to the sit <laughs> sit down. Be, 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 but despite her morbid tender, she's still pretty, loving, and giving. So it still tracks. Okay. So we got her name. We got her name, everything. Only going to read one more paragraph because then time's up. So. Even beyond her name's intention, the word Wednesday has some pretty powerful contonations on its own. According to The Guardian, back when he created a weekly calendar, was the first blip on the Romans' radar. Wednesday was called Dies Mercury, translating into the Day of Mercury. So who is Mercury? Just the god of tricksters, among other things? Fitting, huh? It's pretty oh. tricky to make a six-year-old seem intimidating without going the full-on demonic route in the 60s Adams Family sitcom. That sitcom face, that was a very issue. Sure, a young Lisa Loring was quite capable of fear, fearless glower, but usually it prompted an all rather than an ah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, can, I understand. Making a six-year-old look. Making a six-year-old play Wednesday just doesn't sound right. Yeah, she seems... Well, how old was she when the cartoon started, I wonder? Was she... Well, you're older than that. So yeah, it's time to go, guys. We'll read the rest of part two. Yeah, that's we'll, great. We'll read the beginning of the next here. Even in her darkest lines, like "nice knife," can I play? Can I play with it? Okay. <laughs> so that's uh -huh. all we're reading of this. The sec, the what fifth paragraph already? Mm. I think. Uh, but um, so we'll see you in part two.